what's going on this is Manny fresh with another video today i'm going to show you how to transfer ebooks and pdf files to your kindle reader app on your iphone there's two ways you could accomplish this well, i should say there's more than two ways to do this but i'm going to show you the two ways that i that i do it with uh, the first way that i do it is using itunes so what you could do is go ahead and download itunes if you don't already have it once you download itunes Go ahead and open iTunes. What you want to do is you want to connect your iPhone with the lightning cable. And then once iTunes detects your phone, go ahead and click on the phone icon. Once you click on the icon, what you want to click next is on the settings. That should be uh, file sharing. And please remember to download the Kindle app first if you don't have it on your iPhone. Once you download the app, then you could go back to the settings, file sharing option, and you're going to see the Kindle application there. So what you want to do now is you want to go ahead and click on the Kindle app, and then you're going to see some of the uh, files that I have. But if you want to add a new one, just go ahead and click add file. And then locate the ebook or the PDF file that you have. I already got one here. All right. So once that's done, I usually click sync. And then what's going to happen is on your, once you open the Kindle app, you're going to be able to see the ebook that you transfer over. All right, so let's go ahead and open to confirm. Okay, and there is the new PDF file that I transfer or the ebook that I transfer. And it's loaded and I could go ahead and start using it. Now, the second way that you could upload ebooks or PDF files over to your Kindle reader is using the Amazon issued email. You get a specific email where you could basically send an email to that email that Amazon gives you and they'll upload the ebook e for you. Let me show you what I mean. So once you go to Amazon, you click on account list and then go down where it says your content and devices. Okay, once you go there, you're gonna see devices. And these devices that you see here are devices that you already registered, meaning that you downloaded the app and you logged in with the account. But what you wanna do is you wanna go to preference and then you wanna go to personal document settings. If you scroll down right where it says send to Kindle email settings, you're gonna see the email address and then you're gonna see uh, that it's gonna be similar to your login email address but it's gonna end with at kindle.com so what you need to do to be able to send yourself an ebook via email is first you need to go to the bottom where it says approve personal document email list and in here you would add the authorized email that allows you to send PDF ebooks file to that Kindle email that you see on the top. So if you don't see your email on the approved list, go ahead and click add a new email and go ahead and type it in. So once you do that, basically what you'll do is you go ahead and log into that email via your browser and then compose a new email, attach the ebook. You don't have to include a subject or anything like that. And I'm gonna do that here real quick. So I'm just gonna go to Gmail. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit compose. My email is Manny 
okay at kindle.com leave the subject open or you don't have to type anything in and then just attach the file okay there are some files that if they are bigger than 25 megabytes it's gonna force you to update it upload it to google drive to be able to attach it now this is the case with gmail i don't know what would be the case with another type of email okay so now once the file is attached just go ahead and click send and then click send So basically what's going to happen is after a few minutes, Amazon is going to go ahead and upload the PDF or ebook file that you uploaded and you get an email like you see there saying that you've um, attached, but in this case, I, it says that I forgot to attach the, um, the ebook. Probably because the ebook is 27 megabytes and the email only allows me to upload up to 25. But in most cases, most ebooks are less than 25 megabytes, so you'll be able to upload it. Basically, that's how you upload the ebook and PDF files over to your Kindle application. If you have any questions, please leave your comment below and thank you for watching.